Anakin und Ante. Uh, this is a, what I like to call a duck bunny, uh, a rabbit and duck. If you look at it as an animal facing to the left of the image, it's a duck with a duck's bill going off to the left. If you look at it as, a, as an animal looking off to the right of our field of vision, then it's a rabbit. And what were was the bill of the duck is now the ears of the rabbit. And we can shift back and forth seeing the duck or the rabbit, duck money, back and forth with our mind's eye. Necker cube. Fim Assis. Logic zero, example 23.3, recognizing modus ponens in a more complex form. Uh, let's take this example. And with our mind's eye, let's bracket the essential components and see how it fits the pattern or template of a modus ponens argument. So we notice that the dominant operation of the first premise is material consequence. That fits modus ponens. There needs to be more, but that at least is in the right direction. So let's look at the antecedent of that material consequence and we see oh that antecedent is being affirmed in the second premise another indication that this follows the pattern of modus ponens now let's look at the consequent of the first premise the consequent c and d oh that is the conclusion of the argument this fits the pattern of modus ponens. And we can do that all mentally with the mind's eye. So we might, uh, might, we might, so we might paste this, paste this again here. And then let's bracket those components that I just pointed out. So we have the antecedent of the first premise, which has material consequent as its dominant operation. And then let's bracket the consequent of that premise. Let's bracket the second premise. And we see that it matches the antecedent of the first premise. And let's bracket the conclusion noticing that it matches the consequent of the first premise. And then let's say, uh, well, let, let me follow the example as it is in the text. Let's call this P. And actually, let's do this. So let's copy
So let's copy this with the brackets and then paste it here. And let's replace that first component with P. And I'm going to space things out so that the brackets match up. And let's take the second component and let's call that Q. Let's take this second form here with the brackets and let's paste that down here. And then let's uh, replace this first component with P. And I'm gonna I'm gonna line up the the brackets here. And let's replace the second component with Q. And then here is P again. And finally, Q. All right. And if we get rid of the, the brackets now, so let's copy this. And Get rid of the brackets. Again, I don't want you to have to do all of this scratch work. I want you to be able to do this mentally with your mind's eye uh, so that you can just see that this is modus ponens. So we want to be able to, we want to develop the skills so that we can look at something like we see at the top here and see that it is the modus ponens form just like we have down at the bottom of the page.